Welcome to my channel, Sunshine Shoulders. I'm Calvin. Thank y'all so much for stopping by again today. Keep your guards up. Protect yourself at all times when you're in the Philippines or wherever you are overseas. I thought it was important that I talk about this subject today. Far too many of us are being taken advantage of overseas. Or we're playing ourselves overseas because we just don't know any better. A lot of us, we never even take a look at that travel.state.gov to see what the government says about the destination that we're visiting. We'll just take the word of the vlogger or friends and family or some well-meaning travel agent. But I think the government knows a lot more about the destination than they do or than we the vloggers do. A lot of what I'm talking about today, I got from the website. Some of the stuff, most of this is most of this is common sense. But as we know, when you come to a place like the Philippines, we seem to throw our common sense out the window. Even though we're grown men and women. I find it strange that we build walls around our houses. We install these sophisticated security systems. We put bars on our windows but we leave our most valuable self exposed. See, some of us don't even believe that we're at risk. I'm going to tell you that it's better to be safe than sorry. You know, we make the grave mistake of assuming that everybody in the Philippines has our best interest in mind. You know, the place like the Philippines, I'm not picking on the Philippines, it's just where I am. It has a great reputation and, and well-deserved of people being friendly, they're warm, they're welcoming. So there's no fear of being taken advantage of. But really it's the opposite. Tourists and expats are looked at as easy targets. Because we don't know where we are, we don't know the ways of the people. We're in a new environment. Everyone starts looking the same. We don't know the good guys from the bad guys. So initially it's best to be skeptical of everyone you meet. Listen, I've been traveling ever since I was 18 years old. I know there's two things that's going to get you early on in your trip. Because the first 24 to 48 hours is going to make or break your vacation or your retirement. Number one is jet lag. We're fatigued. We're unable to focus and function as usual. We let our guards down, guys. We literally start trusting strangers. But the big thing that hits most of us is the excitement of being in this new country, of going on vacation. And excitement's a powerful, powerful emotion. It causes us to make decisions that we normally wouldn't make most of the time, they're the wrong decisions. We actually put ourselves in a position of being wronged. That first 24 to 48 hours. I say, calm down. Okay, get you some rest. Rejuvenate from that long trip. Let your body catch up to your mind or your mind catch up to your body, whatever that is. Get your faculties straight. Start feeling normal. Then venture out. I'm telling you, it's going to make all the difference in the world. Because a lot of these scams, you, can't, you don't even see them coming. We don't even consider them scams. Let me give you a perfect example. When, you, when you're arriving at the airport, you get your luggage, you're ready to go out, you see the money exchanger. Now, when I first started coming to the Philippines, it wasn't much difference between the airport exchange and the money exchanger at the mall, but now it's almost five pesos to the dollar difference. I consider that a scam, but you don't know and you don't care. So you get all of, uh, you do a thousand dollars. Well, hell now you're out of 5,000 pesos. You just literally just threw 5,000 pesos in the garbage. I say just exchange enough money for transportation and food. Once you get rested, once you get back to normal, then you go to the mall or to the bank 
and get a more favorable exchange rate. See, this is what I'm talking about. Keep your guard up. We let our guard down when you start exchanging all that money. You're taking it for granted that the exchange rate is the same everywhere around the city or wherever it is you are. That's not true. Something else we do, and this is a big mistake. We let people know our hotel location. We even let them know what room we're staying in. It's usually that woman that we meet online. It's a big, big mistake, guys, because remember, we're literally trusting strangers. You don't really know her. More than likely, she's going to be okay, but you don't know initially. That's why I say keep your guard up. Protect yourself at all times, especially in the first 24 to 48 hours. We let her know where we stay, you know, your location. What more? What could be more important? You overseas somewhere. What could be more important than where you're staying, man? Keeping that private. But here's some things I can do, the things I do to help protect your stay at the hotel, wherever you are. First of all, lock up your valuables and your money in your luggage. Not your backpack, not your carry-on. Don't use that damn safe. There's hacks that they can use to get in there. Put it in your luggage. Use that same airport lock that you use to bring it over here to lock it up. That's going to protect you. First of all, if they see somebody carrying a big ass piece of luggage out the room, it's going to raise a red flag. You understand that. But if you put it in your backpack and put it on your back and walk out, nobody will ever even notice that. Use the do not disturb sign, guys. Use it. It's there for a reason. If you use that, whether you're in the room or outside of the room, it's literally going to eliminate the risk of somebody going in your room and robbing you. It's going to cut down on the people coming in and out of your room. I guarantee you that it will. But be honest. You never use that. You use the other side of that card that says clean up the room. Well, hell, if you need your garbage chains or you need new towels you can catch the the housekeeping or the housekeeper cleaning somebody else's room and get that done cut down on the people running in and out of your room man no other emergency exits are guys y'all say well why you need to know that uh if i gotta tell you that then there's no helping you but we overlook this little bitty stuff guys because we're jet lagged because we're excited we talk enough about the taxis and stuff, guys. But, you know, it's the white taxi you want to get into. Make sure they got the meter on. We can say this a thousand, thousand times, but people still get scammed. They still get taken advantage of. Use their Google Maps of some location map. Make sure the clown is going the, the, the way he's supposed to go in the right direction. Because even if they got the meter on, they'll take you all around because they, don't, they know you're new. You don't know where you are. You don't know where you're going. This is why I tell you guys, you know, initially, keep your guards up. Protect yourself at all times. Because you don't want to hold, you don't want to walk around here mean mugging everybody for your whole two weeks or month you're in the country. But at least those first 24 to 48 hours, you get past that, you're more than likely going to be safe, man. You're more than likely going to be back to operating at your normal capacity. Let me tell you what happened. This is a true story. One of my friends, he's from Louisiana. He was teaching English over in China. He moved to the Philippines right next door to me. Just got to town, goes out, meets this young lady at the bar. They come back to his place. He wakes up the next morning, 250,000 pesos gone. He let his guard down. This is the friendly scam, guys, that a lot of y'all don't even know exists. In a country like the Philippines, where the people are known for their friendliness, for their warmness, this is easy to be taken advantage of. You don't know the difference between a friendly friend and a friendly scammer. So they cozy up to you. Hey, let's go out for a few drinks. 
They poison your drink. You're lucky if you wake up and all your money's gone. That's what happened to him. Oh, come on over to my house. It's a birthday party. You eat the food. They do the same thing. Or you meet the girl online. You start trusting her. You let your guard down. You take her to the hotel. Boom, everything's gone. This is common sense, guys, but we're not using it. For some strange reason, when we come to the Philippines, we throw the common sense out the window. So that's why I have to make this video. I'm not preaching to anybody, man. You know, to be honest with you, I got to agree with the guy who's in my comments. He said, well, it's their time. It's their money. Let them do what they want to do. Yeah, but a lot of these guys are coming over here on my dime. They're coming over here because I tell them how nice the Philippines is. I certainly don't want them to come over and get and take advantage of or playing themselves because they don't know any better. Don't you think it's strange, man? That we put all these sophisticated security systems in our houses. We build walls around. We put bars on the windows, but we leave ourselves exposed. That's, the, that's your most valuable asset is yourself. You only get one life. I don't believe in the afterlife, and I don't want to offend anybody, but I'm just saying. It's better to be safe than sorry. The minute you think that, oh... I'm not at risk is when you put yourself at risk. Calm down. Give yourself 24 to 48 hours to get your feet up underneath you. Get that rest you need. Rejuvenate, guys. And you're going to thank me. Thank me now. You don't have to thank me later. So I appreciate y'all for stopping by again today. I know it sounds like common sense, guys, but it's too many of us being taken advantage of over here. It's time that we either put a stop to it or the numbers go down. Wherever you are in the world, there's always somebody worse off than you. Help them if you can. If you can't help them, don't make their life worse off than it already is. If you're in the Philippines right now, there's no excuse why you shouldn't be helping somebody. I know it's not your responsibility, but that's the least you can do. It doesn't even have to be money all the time. Now, day goes by, I don't want to help somebody over here because I want my, com I want my compound interest. I know it's coming back. Doesn't matter what your motive is. You might be trying to get in the girl's pants by helping her or helping her family. It doesn't matter. Because I, I don't know anything else. I know this one thing for sure. We help other people. We help ourselves. Take care. Stay safe. Stay out of trouble. I'll see you next time. I'm traveling in the morning to Elo Elo preparing for the meet and greet on Thursday, June 29th. So more than likely there won't be a live stream tomorrow it'll be on the original day thursday morning if you're in cebu if you're in bacolod if you're in elo elo stop by the bourbon street bar and grill in the festive walk from 3 p.m until for our meet and greet have some great food great conversation meet some great people take care everybody thank y'all